Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Insert Subject Here. I am Makia, and today we are in our first tiny home in Berlin, Ohio. So why don't you settle on in and stick around as we go tour some ish on this week's episode of Insert Subject Here. Valentine's Day weekend, we stayed in the Lux Tiny Home in Berlin, Ohio. Um, we had some snowfall during this time, which made the ambiance even better. <laughs> and as you'll tour the outside of the home, you'll notice that the theming will continue on the inside with the white, tan, and black contrasting accents all along this tiny home. Now, it is a 32-foot trailer that was converted into a tiny home hosted by Kevin and his wife Liz. It also had a deck on the front and lots of picturesque windows so that it really brought the outside into the home. Unfortunately, because of the snow, we didn't really get to enjoy the outside, but it was but I wasn't made. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it was such a lovely home. Uh, inside the home, let's take a look. Hey Siri, we have arrived. So when you come in, you'll notice that the home is quite small, but quite quaint. And you'll see those same tan, white, and black accents all throughout the home. So I really like how they pulled the outside inside to keep the same theme going. And they also left us Bruh. some biscotti. Chocolate chip joints. I ate one as soon as I walked in. Like I, I filmed this and then I picked one up. <laughs> and that was super dope. Like we love when Airbnb hosts leave sweet yes. little treats and things for us. So we yep. were much appreciated. And they also left us a nice little car. Which for all the hostess out there, we, we like treats. We love us some <laughs> treats. But with all the windows, which all had shades, it lets so much of the light in. And this shows you the back end of the home with the kitchen, the couch area, the and then some sitting area. Yeah. yeah. So that you did have various spaces to relax and enjoy the home. They also provided very, very many and, and a different variety of coffee and tea we products. Never use them. We didn't. Um, but we only did spend one night here. Yeah. And I really, really love the way they themed this home. Yes. They had a little camera. You see the little camera? They left that for us to take a picture and leave in the book, which I thought was really, really dope. Yeah, and then we flipped through the book and got to read other people's stories and see their photos as well. This was our first time seeing a fridge like this. Yeah, it was interesting. It looked real old timey, but it it did it did the job. And it fit the property. It fit the property. Yep. And they also left some Brita filtered water for us for our stay, which was super dope as well. I'm an alkaline fan myself. But it was so dope <laughs> to have. And in the kitchen, though it was small, had a lot of storage spaces and they left utensils, everything that you would need to use the cooktop and to prepare meals while you were there. As clean as you see it, it's as clean as it stayed. <laughs> yes, because we just, we went out to eat. Because one of the things that we like to do when we're staying in Airbnbs is also to tour and visit some of the areas and restaurants in the neighborhood. So we like to be able to experience the different things as well. And then the pièce de résistance. Now let's get into this bathroom, mm. folks. When I tell you they spent so much time on yes. the decorating and the bathroom was no exception. It had the mirrored tiling in the background. Mm. Mm. Um, they really brought in the natural light. You still had windows mm -hmm. and things in there as well. And it really brought in, they had pops of blue in the house, as you saw with the um, coffee and tea products, but they also brought it into the bathroom and they had a washer dryer combo. In one, in it, one. it was interesting because it, it did everything. It was weird. And they also left um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and things like that for in case you forgot anything on your trip. And Liz even made her own homemade yes. soaps and laundry detergents. It smelled amazing. It did. And it really worked. Like, it was very fresh and mm -hmm. clean. So, it, it was another personal touch for this home that mm -hmm. we really enjoyed. We fell in love with this vanity. Mm -hmm. like we probably can do it in our house. It's dope. And it fits so perfectly into this small space. Now... But tubby time. But the tubby time. Oh my god. 
this is a two-person deep silk jacuzzi. Yes, sir. And you see the jets and stuff all around it. And you're noticing that there's a lot of light in this area as well. And that is because they had a skylight yes. over top of the tub. Yes. Which also had a rainfall shower head. Don't see the kid. <laughs> so dope. It like, dope. And this is just. This is the top of the house. You can see the, what is the thing called? The skylight. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what, you know, let out into the light and things. Um, and then on the deck, they had a fire pit and two chairs for you to sit out here if you wanted to enjoy. And you have a little bit of the privacy fence because there are two properties um, on this land. Yes. And the other one is the Scandy, which you'll get a quick peek of later on in the video. These are the steps leading to your sleeping quarters. So above the bathroom, which I love how they use this space very well, is your bed. And it was a queen size yes. memory foam bed. Very, very, very comfortable. Um, and they left eye patches for us. Eye masks? Eye masks, eye yes. Masks. Sleep masks. Sleep masks, thank you. For us while we were there. And um, there is this little slot little here step you that you pull out. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they kept with the railing and the theming. And you'll see these nice little cutouts that they did. So it doesn't look like your average rail. But that skylight, though. And then we had a skylight over mm. the bed as well. And it had a shade. So if you wanted to close that off, you could do so. And this was me stumbling to get down off of the bed to walk down the steps but it just shows you how tight the space is to get up there but it's a tiny home so it's not like you're there forever you're just there to, you gotta get up in that little space to go to sleep right and right in front of it is the only storage space in the home yes they had a wardrobe which we didn't stay long so it worked perfectly for us mm -hmm. it had enough space for you to put your bags and to also hang up some clothing i would say pack light if you stay here hey siri and Movie then this time. is from the back of the home showing you forward where that tan door air is, is where the bathroom is. Mm -hmm. And then it had a projector which came out of the ceiling. I have no idea how they built yes. this up here. But it was super dope so that you could enjoy movies. And it was smart device friendly. So mm -hmm. you had your Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, all that stuff so that you could watch it on this massive projection. And then at night, the home really started to come alive when the different outdoor lights would start to come mm -hmm. on and really gave the, the house this really nice warm glow. And this was in Berlin, Ohio. So just understand where you're going because we'll get into the whole feeling like a and what the zoo in another episode. Yes. <laughs> and um, the Wi-Fi was spotty. So yes. just be prepared for that. And then this just shows you the back of the home, the Lux, which is the one that we stayed in. So thank you so much for tuning in for this week's episode. If you have not done so already, hit the comment section and let us know what your favorite part of this tiny home was. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the page, turn the notification bell on so you always know when we drop a new video. And as always, thanks for stopping by to talk some ish with us today. Well, tour some ish with us today. Bye.